Hey, this is Irvin Griffin. Welcome to another edition of Grown Man Talk. I don't come on camera very often, much anymore, but I had felt I had to for this one. Over this past weekend, Sasha Banks was seen coming out of a pizzeria uh, with her um, husband. Um, I forgot his name and I apologize. But as you can see here, um, he is obviously of Asian descent. He basically... Basically, as they was walking by, some fans was trying to get her attention, and she would not acknowledge the fans, which brought out a chorus of, boo of booze. Now, as you saw at the beginning of this piece, after the um, after the titles ran, you saw where there's actually a pension to strip Sasha Banks of the Women's Championship. Now. I'm not the biggest fan of Sasha Banks, but I'm slowly becoming a one just because, just more or less out of protest. And yes, isn't it funny that both of these big pensions, and remember earlier this year about fire Roman Reigns because he defeated The Undertaker? Re remember how both of these pensions seem to involve people of color? Just saying. And as for Sasha Banks, yeah, she might very well be a bitch, for all I know. Might very well. But I didn't see nobody pensioning Randy Orton to get fired from WWE. How many times has he been rude to fans? Uh, CM Punk made homophobic comments about fans a few times. Did anyone say CM Punk should be fired? Just making the point. No one called for their jobs to be taken away or their titles to be stripped. How many other, um, um, how many other wrestlers have been accused of being uh, basically uh, penises to fans? I mean, I've heard stories about Lex Luger back in the day. I heard stories even about Sting, you know, prior to him becoming a Christian. I heard stories about him. I heard plenty of stories about some of these some of these guys. I heard stories about Batista being rude to fans. And you have to ask yourself, how much of this is the is it really the wrestlers and how much of it is is it just fans not knowing their space? Not knowing their space. You know what I'm saying? These guys are performing in for you putting their bodies, taking years off their lives in that ring. Yes, it is a predetermined business, but they are getting hurt in there doing it, okay? They're doing it 300 times or so a year, assuming they don't get injured. And they don't have time to themselves. If uh, Now, nah, this has been me. Sasha Banks would have been out. She don't know me from Adam. The most I might have done if we'd have made eye contact, I probably would have nodded, be like, hey, what's up? Keep it moving. That's the way I would go. I would just keep it moving. I mean, I run into that even in the field I'm in. In fact, I mean, I'm not going to name names, but I know a guy that to me about a reporter that apparently he knew as a little kid that used to work here. I'm talking about, oh, she's a bitch. Yeah, I'm going to use a little language. Oh, talking about, you know, people here can't read. Rent, rent, and rent. I was like, you know what? Number one, Negro, I wasn't there. I don't know what was said between you two or what was not said. Number one. Number two, how do I know you didn't approach her? And just as man to man, I'm thinking to myself, number three, why are you griping to me? I'm not the one you need to be telling. You need to be telling her. Just saying as a man. But back to this. Uh, this is getting ridiculous now. Strip her of the title because she's rude to fans. If that's the case, CM Punk should have never been a world champion. Because how many times was he rude? towards the fans. Randy Orton, same thing. 
He should have never been a world champion either. So, fans need to just get off their high horse. Just because you buy a ticket does not mean you own them. At the end of the day, they are human beings. Now, I will say this on Sasha's half. Sasha didn't flip nobody to bird. She didn't cuss nobody out. She just kept it moving. But I will say this. If 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 this is the, her way of dealing with it, I will say she needs to find a better way to deal with it. Because honestly... Wrestler, there are wrestlers that had to deal with more, with it way worse than you, honey. Look at Ric Flair. Look at Hulk Hogan. Look at The Rock. Look at Steve Austin. Look at even Trish Stratus. Let's go to the women. Mickey James. Um, and there's been stories on her too. Mickey James, I mean, there's been stories on her not exactly being cordial towards fans. Look at Lita. They had it way worse than you. But at the end of the day, they're still people. They're just in the spotlight. That's it. That's the only difference. So I will say say to that, this little pension and stuff, there are so many other things you could be creating a pension to protest rather than a wrestler not doing things to your liking. And like I said, just saying, it's funny how both of the pensions this year, hers and before her, Roman Reigns, were at people of color. Just saying. Anyway, for Grown Man Talk, I'm Irvin Griffin.